Hello everyone, hope you all are doing uh, well and staying safe in this pandemic. Today I'm making a video on tutorial on importing CSV file in a notebook using Pandas library. So let's start. First import uh, Pandas as PD. And then, oh, first let's see if the import happens. Okay, import happened. Then in this df, this variable, put p.read csv. Read csv is the command how you uh, bring the csv file olympics.csv. I already have this olympics.csv file in the same folder where I'm making this video in this file as this file. Look, olympics.csv I have here. What I'm going to do, I I am having this CSV file in the description box below, in the link, so that if you want to follow along, you can do that. This is our data frame. Looks 147 rows I have here. So I actually don't want this huge big data frame here. So I will use df.head. Df.head gives you first five rows by default. But if you want to specify it, like first eight rows or three rows or ten rows, it gives you first ten rows. So I think five rows was fine. Now look, I have this row here, which I don't think I need. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. It's just a column index uh, because this is, I think, the header of my uh, data frame here. So what I'm going to do, I, I will just get rid of this top row. And it's very easy. Skip rows 1. If I do skip rows 1, it will get rid of this first one row. Let's see. Make it df1. Look, the first row is gone, so by default, the next row becomes the header, this row. So I think this is valid header, right? If you get rid of first two rows, it's get it, it even get rid of uh, the header row. Then Argentina, Afghanistan becomes the uh, header by default because it's the top row. If you get rid of first three, even Afghanistan is gone. Now Algeria, if you get rid of first four rows, Algeria is gone now, it's Argentina. Okay, I think first one row was enough. Now, not always you want to get rid of only first one, two, three, four rows. It could be like you want to get rid of first rows, then third row, then fourth row, right? Uh, you can, and then seventh row, then tenth row, then fiftieth, fiftieth row. So, in that case, what you do? you just make a list of the rows you want to get rid of. One is this is zero. This is zero index. I write index zero, so zero. Then zero, one, two. Afghanistan. Probably I don't need Afghanistan. Okay. Zero, one, two, three, four. Let's get, a, get rid of Argentina also. Okay, look, we got rid of all those three rows. Now, there is another way you can just specify the header. Here I just skipped rows, look. Okay, there is another way you can, instead of skip row, you can use specify the header. Like this is the header we know, right? The row index one. This is row index zero, this is row index one. So simply put header equals to one and just change the name. Look, that makes this this one header. If you make the header zero, look, it makes this usual this number row as header. So I'm putting header one. 
you actually also can do header none Header none means none of the data here none of the rows here are header if that is the case header none look even this row is included in the data set and pandas automatically put another row of number as header okay in that case in our case we don't need it for header one is enough oh we it's it looks repeated repetitive but now let's look at the index we have this generic number row as index but in, in my my opinion i want a meaningful column as index like in this data frame i think this number name of the country could be a good index i mean makes more sense to have as index okay so let's put a header one then index column is zero okay so look this column became the index all right the next look here we have all these columns right but you may not always want all these columns probably you don't need it you only want to see the number of summer games number of winter games and total number of games for each country okay in that case uh, we f what we can do you can just use columns and then here you put the name of the columns and then number of summer games oh we needed a comma here we need a comma here also the number of winter games And this is the total number of games. Okay, let's see. This is a lot more cleaner. If you don't need these extra columns, but if you do, if you need them, then it's different. But when you don't need it, most of the time when we have a big data set, we actually don't need the whole data set. For different purpose, we need different set of columns. So this is how you can improve all right on the import you can do this but if by any chance if you have this whole columns you can get rid of the columns in different way i will show it in different video but this is one way let's get back to our skip rows okay look you can use a for loop to do the skip rows okay that's what i'm going to show right now uh, skip rows okay i for i in a range two to five so this is another way of skipping rows i'm doing it two to five you can probably you don't need probably 10 rows in the middle probably five rows on top 10 rows in, in the bottom you can get rid of any different range of uh, rows in this way okay look it's two to five these first few rows it's already gone here i'm using a simple for loop but you can actually define a uh, function and use it in your skip rows like here i will define a something called even rows where i'm putting index as the parameter and it will return if it will return oh sorry if index modulo 2 is 0 return true else return false 
Look, now I'm going to use it in the skip rows. Okay. Let's not do this header one also. Just showing uh, lambda x. Now call your even rows here. Okay. Let's see. It just got rid of all the even rows. Okay. If you see, every other row is gone here. All this time we talked about the skip rows thing when we can get rid of ranges, you can put function, but we didn't talk about the tail. df.tail, <clears throat> the way df.head gives the first five rows, df.tail, tail gives you the last five rows. Um, as usual, you can put your specified numbers if you put 8 here it will give you first 8 but if you don't or if you give 10 it will give you first 10 rows I'm sorry last 10 rows but if you don't put anything it will give you last 5 rows now how can we get rid of the rows at the end by any chance if we don't need probably last 3 rows or last 10 rows last 50 rows whatever number of rows we have this skip footer. I am going to do last three rows so that you can see it clearly that it it works. Look, 144. It stops 144, and it gets rid of last three rows. As I said, skip footer. So okay, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and if you want to. Uh, have see more videos like this please like comment and subscribe to support me thank you so much